What's going on team? Proof here. And today I'm doing a recruit report on what my Discord and I have dubbed as the hottest free agent in Vanguard right now. And if you're new to the channel, recruit reports are generally uh, card reviews and kind of thinking about how cards worked, but do it within the, the context of the Spike Brothers clan. And so today's card is going to be Earth Elemental Connell, which is coming out in set GBT 11. And he says, uh, continuous on rear guard GB1, uh, when your unit will be chosen by any fighter due to the effect of your opponent's card, choose his unit as much as possible. And of course, with all crate elementals, he, he's all clan and all nations. So you might be asking yourself, why is Proof doing a recruit report on a crate elemental card? And I'm glad you asked. <laughs> The reason I'm doing it is because he has really good applications within the context of Spike Brothers and the clan in and of itself. And I thought it would be really cool to sit down and go through some of those things with you guys. Just, to, just the ideas that I had going through my head about what this thing could do. And when I saw this card uh, a couple weeks ago when it was revealed, I immediately got really excited because I knew what it would be capable of. Because Spike's and the clan itself have been clamoring and wanting a resist unit for the longest time now. We wanted one back in set nine, but then we got Mayhem Tiger, so we were kind of okay with not having a resist unit <laughs> because how insane Mayhem is. But we still would want one. And with Connell here, we kind of get our way around not having a dedicated resist unit by having a card that could give all of our cards a one-time resist effect effectively and if you haven't seen my my rulings breakdown video take a look at that about some of the ways Connell works and doesn't work because I don't know if I'm going to touch on those when I go through this but yeah well, let's hop into it some more and what I like to do I like to talk about what the card is good for what the card isn't like the positives and negatives of each card, like what it's not good for. And some of the good things that Connell is good for in the terms of spikes that he's easily searchable because we have access to Mecha Trainer. And also in the context of our strides, we can easily search him out with Bakaro, uh, especially if we have the means to do a full field call with Bakaro because we have that spot behind Vanguard where we can place him. Or we can call him to the side if we think we're going to need to have the immediate protection from something. But he's that really valuable behind Vanguard because he's a 5k booster, which means he still hits uh, 31k with all the strides. Like He still hits perfect numbers with strides to force particular shield from your opponent. Excuse me. And being able to be called, called out or easily searched is a huge boon for spikes and for the other clans like uh, the Night Roses, the Gear Chronicles, things like that, that can easily toolbox through their deck to call it out or grab it. And some of the ways he he works for Spikes is that for Miracle Ace, he especially is good for protecting against a lot of the disrupt, disruptive G guards that are available to clans, such as the Negro Lily Cannoneer combo uh, Hetero around like he's really good at redirecting those particular skills to him because they are limited to a particular type of unit like for denial griffin you can't have connell be you can't have connell redirect denial griffin because denial griffin specifies attacking unit or attacking rear guard if connell's not attacking he is not an eligible target for denial griffin but negro lily and head around just specifies a particular unit not in a particular location and because of that connell is eligible so if i have frog raider plus say mayhem tiger and they want to head around it they have if connell's on the board they, ha they have to pick connell for the redirect or for the effect because of connell redirecting it and then that saves our our frog raider which is prime target number one it also protects uh our Mayhem Tiger, and also means they have to use bigger guard to protect themselves from that attack. 
And now with hetero round being restricted to one, that means it becomes a much more precious commodity to the gear player to time up their hetero round. And if we lay down Kano preemptively, we can stop them and kind of get around the one weakness that we have to the Gear Chronicle deck, which is multiple hetero round dragon, or our main weakness against the Gear Chronicle matchup. I believe that's how I said it. And he also aids getting some removal against the Kagero clans, the Narukamis of the world, because he, unless they have multiple targets or they have multiple retire skills in the same turn, if you have Connell out, they have to choose Connell as one of those targets, or at least for their first removal, which could protect uh, some other units that we have on the board during the meantime as well. So being able to figure out when and how to place Connell is going to be a really important facet of this particular card because you can thwart some of your opponent's plays by how you time putting him onto the board, which is really important. And it's kind of the, the skillful aspect of cards like these. And a big thing that he does is that he helps against Freeze Ray. One of the the weaknesses that we had against the freeze ray matchup was that if the freeze ray player was at four, we would have to try to push them to five before we go into a big combo because then having that one damage buffer meant that they could take a damage, lock down our other rear guard, and then easily guard against our vanguard attack. So we couldn't be able, we weren't able to utilize a lot of multi attack in there. But with Kong on the board and with the way freeze ray, freeze ray is worded, Freeze Ray, mean, Freeze Ray says he chooses a unit, not particularly one in the front row of you that uh, that we have. So that means if we have Colin in the back behind Vanguard, which is prime space number one, if we put them, if they're at four damage and we hit them to five, they have to choose Connell for Freeze Ray's target, which means that leaves our other rear guard circle to try and push them to six damage, which is really good for... Miracle Ace especially really good for the bad end combos because of having that plus 10 or plus 20,000 power. It's going to be really good for future Hell Heart 8 combos. And having him available just for those things is really strong for us. And why I feel we're, the Spike Brothers clan is going to be one of the few clans to take advantage of a card like this. Now we'll talk about some of the bad things with Connell, which aren't which aren't voluminous, I should say. There's not a lot of downside to him, just the usual suspects. Him having 5,000 power makes him a bad ride, by and large, but it's something or it's something that your opponent can abuse potentially by maybe having like a vanilla draw trigger in their hand or something, which is something I've experienced. It's something that I've done against other people that have written 5K or 4K in the case of Laurel Vanguards. So having 5k power means your opponent can take advantage of it. It also means it doesn't hit solid numbers once your opponent is at their grade 3 stage because of it doesn't scale really well most in most cases. So that's why I say he's best behind Vanguard for that reason because your Vanguard scales usually with your opponent. And so with the case of counter cards such as these, such as all the other crate elementals by and large, it's not good in all matchups. And with Vanguard not having a sideboard, you need to think carefully about how many you want to apply into your deck because it's not going to be useful in all those matchups that don't have retire or targeting options such as uh, Gold Paladin, things like that. That's the first thing, uh, Angel Feather popped into my head. Genesis, for most cases, except for the uh, the card you Soul Blast to give your Vanguard a target or retire ability. So sometimes it won't be useful, but in the cases where you can't use him for his redirection, he he can be used for Soul Fodder for your skills such as Rising, Misery, Good End, or you can just throw it down as a little pesky poke attacker in front of your Forerunner. In, your forerunner of choice and like a little 10k poke column to annoy your opponent to force them to deal with it or to let it keep abusing them throughout the course of the game until you scale it more appropriately i should say but 
I think this little guy is going to find his way into a lot of spike decks, if not all of them in a one, at least a one-up capacity because of what he can do for us against our more difficult matchups, especially as uh, Fighters Collection and GBT11 fleshes out because of how he interacts with Dominate. Being able, because Dominate specifies being targeted. So if you have Connell on board, he saves your other cards from being used as or being picked for dominate which could be relevant for us in the future depending on how dominate fleshes out as a keyword and with connell only being a 5k attacker i believe dominate lasts to the end of turn but they have to use the dominate skill on him and then they have to power it up once more just to be able to force 5k shield from us which is good for us because it saves them from choosing our charge units, which we might want to keep away from them, even though we have the option to choose to charge it, or it just keeps them away from using our other cards to attack us and be able to attack us a lot of times with our own particular units until Mugen Lord. But that's another video for another day. So that's our nice little, nice little cute little dude here, little cute guy. Look at that face. <laughs> but I look, I'm looking forward to Connell. I've done some testing with him, and I've seen the potential that he has. And that's why I think he's going to make his way into spike decks in the future. So I hope you enjoy. Uh, check out for more. Look out for more. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Bring them to the channel. Let them become friends of the channel. And that'll do it for me. And until next time, guys, peace. Be easy. Listen.